Hello game fans! Homefront is a game with a peppered past. It was on, it was off, it was sold, it was back on again, it was rumoured, and now it's here. In beta format at least. I managed to get a couple of hours on the beta version on Valentine's weekend, and here are my thoughts so far. <laughs> When I finally got a game after waiting in the lobby for a fair few minutes, it didn't take me long to figure out the controls. The controls are consistent with most shooters and the inventory overlay makes it easy to switch from weapons to devices. Weapons include the usual affair of machine guns, pistols and shotguns, with many more locked behind paywalls. Money is achieved by experience, so I didn't have much time to gain any new gear, gear on my first few games. Um, the items which are not included as weapons are devices. You can get um, Molotov cocktails, you can get uh, incendiaries and a number of different bombs, and there is a number of things that you can build. Once up and running, I started having fun straight away. The game had clear objectives. Move here, hold this position, protect this area, move on. It felt very simple and very easy to just dive into. Gunplay felt frantic and the weapons inaccuracies actually made me feel like it was a bit more real. Having selected this white male electrician, I didn't expect him to be able to handle a weapon very well. And to be honest, he or we couldn't. If the controls improve as the game progresses, then that would be fantastic. But I suspect only minor improvements can be made. Overall, the game reminds me of State of Decay or H1Z1 and other kind of slightly B-list open world shooters. What Homefront did convey however is a sense of being the underdog. After only a few games I got the sense that these were my streets and the, the armoured force that had moved in were on, in, you know, in my house and on my streets and in my city and they were an overwhelming force whereas we were more of a ragtag band of volunteers. But you know, they felt that they were more organised and better equipped, but they were effectively in my streets. And I did get this really great sense that there could be a real story here. I can see a lot of potential in this game, and the underlying principle is a strong one. Feeling that you were making a dent in a city-wide takeover is strangely satisfying, and if handled well, could make for a really great game. The graphics at the moment aren't going to win any awards, crafting is yet to be fully explored and the progression system kind of looks pretty strong at the moment and I look forward to seeing how it works. It's got to be infinitely better than Star Wars Battlefront. So even though I've only played it for a couple of hours, um, there was a lot of potential there and I think that I think if they could take back a lot of the feedback which people are giving, um, obviously give it a lot more polish then there is the seeds of a really good game here. Um, so I'm sure there's going to be a, another beta coming soon, uh, but if they like this video, if it's been useful, please give it a thumbs up, uh, give it a comment, I'd love to hear your questions, and don't forget to subscribe. Alright, thanks a lot.
more KPA moving in on your position. The evacuation is almost complete. Just buy us more time. I hate being right all the time. Okay, people, look alive. We have more incoming. just a little longer while we rig the safe house to blow. I'll let you know when it's time for you to pull out. Roger that, dispatch. Okay, people, this is where we hold them. Get ready to fall back on my mark. We won't have long to get out of here. Finish him. Now today I'm going to be talking about Trove. Now Trove is an open world voxel adventure through countless realms filled with quests and chests and enemies both big and small. It's like the guys at Tryon has everyone's wish list for improving Minecraft and then has added it into Trove. It's amazing. <laughs>